Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. I'm doing this video as a New Year's present for you guys to show you how much money we're getting ready to make next year and what's going to happen to the stock price. As usual, let's start off with this, guys. The stock was last trading at $9.06, 36 cents down. The 52-week low was only $7, and the 52-week high was $16.18. As a disclaimer, I have 2,260 shares at $3.53, and on the SoFi platform, I hold another 478 shares at $8.71. So... I want to start off by a quote from a man who at that time was the most powerful man in the world. And I got it from a book that I'm reading that my son turned me on to. It's called Marcus Aurelius Meditations. So yes, it's from Marcus Aurelius, the last of the good, great Roman emperors. He said, just as those who try to block your progress along the straight path of reason will not be able to divert you from principled action. So you must not let them knock you out of your goodwill towards them. Rather, you should watch yourself equally on both fronts. So basically what he's saying is, when the animals come at us, we must, be, we must stay focused. When the negative Nancys and sickos and weirdos and whack jobs come and try to convince us in all different manners as to why you should not invest in China. Why you should fear them because Fox and CNN tell you to. And they will try all different ways to stop you from investing and staying poor and dying poor. And they will tell you to buy companies when they're high. I will tell you, no, don't do that. So what do we have to look forward to in the future, guys? December will be a good month for us because we know that traditionally we sell a lot of cars in December. And going forward with our delivery numbers due to brand recognition, due to the amount of people seeing the live televised event where King William Lee tested the battery on Tencent News as well as live on social media. Remember we spoke about that guys? And Neo Day also broadcasted live, waking people up to the fact that we have more charging stations strategically, strategically located than any other EV company in China. <laughs> Yet again, showing why we will generate revenue, not just from EV sales. Anyway, all of the technology that we were investing in and people were saying it was cash burn up until now, now they are also doing it. They are also working on phones, trying to work on their in own in-house chips, etc., etc. King William Lee, the great visionary, saw that in order to become profitable and to dominate, we must make everything, everything in-house, a one-stop shop. So I also we have captured the market right under the rest of the competition nose by again building out battery swap stations, again in strategic locations, when everyone said battery swap stations was a waste, remember that? The shorts were trying to panic us to sell, just like MSNBC and Bloomberg and what have you. This is a game they've been playing for years, the establishment. So we have strategically placed these battery swap stations in Macau, sporting venues and highways, etc., etc. That's why Ample, the American company, with their fake nonsense technology is trying to do it in Europe. But they are behind. Even when compared to our technology, they are behind. We have fourth generation swap stations. We have created and will continue to com complete the perfect ecosystem, a one-stop shop. Phones, batteries, in-house made LiDARs, chips, which is the biggest deal. And I spoke about that first. On Neo Day, the chip was the dominating factor. Because even with sanctions, just like what they did against Huawei, and Huawei is now getting ready to build, I told you guys, a factory 
Next here in France, the French government tell them to come and build a factory. And you still, I'm telling you guys, don't listen to these short animals that are gonna laugh at you after you sell your shares. We will continue into Europe next year and other markets, proving that this is just the beginning. Excuse me, guys. And we are in many, in many forms, just in our infancy, just in our infancy. Now moving next year into adolescent stage. Yes, that's right. We are now graduating up to adolescent stage next year. Because a lot of people always say to me, Mitch, when, when, what is your price point? See, I'll tell you something what the great Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett said. He said, after five years, you reevaluate a company. Say for example, our baby Neo. If they are still innovating at a massive rate, which we are, and we continue to use a billion dollars per year to stay ahead of the game, to the point where it will get to where everyone is buying our EVs. Okay. And as after that five years, if they're still doing that and still growing, you hold. Now, if it gets to a certain price where you want to take some profits, by all means do that. But if you see that we're still growing, see Tesla is maxed out and now it's declining. They're going to crash. They're going to crash horribly, horribly. Soon as people realize that after five years, that battery in that car, that, that Tesla car is no good and it's not holding a good charge anymore and the car is worthless, then people will start waking up and realizing, oh my God, what a mistake I made. I made, I bought dog poop for forty-six, fifty thousand dollars Anyway, so when it gets to that stage where we're riding the wave up and you see we, we're getting to that point where we're peaking, then you might want to offload or at that point if we start uh, paying dividends you might want to hold some and continue to get dividends guys this is the way the wealthy play this plays the game this is the way the pension funds and hedge funds play the game and when you buy into a 401k and you're putting your money your money does not grow it's like a savings account look it up guys my friend dave his channel is called growth stock 22 on tiktok he was explaining it out perfectly for me. See, they want you to work all of your life and pay into this 401k and the people managing the fund are the ones making the money off your hard sweat. No more. Social media has changed that where people are waking up. Anyway, as we continue to build out battery swap stations in a massive way, next year we'll see more EV companies join us in partnerships and remember i keep saying this these partnerships will turn into mergers partnerships because they realize that if they don't adopt battery as a service and pay us for using it their evs too will be worthless worthless the release of some evs under alps in the first quarter so we're going to have some some evs rolled out under the brand name alps in the first quarter possibly by the mid or end of january and firefly in the second or third quarter i believe it's going to be in the second quarter because we're speeding up the process and the last piece of news i dug up on this is firefly is in parallel parallel with alps and we're going to flood europe with it what do you guys think is going to happen? That's why I say we're going from baby to toddler. The third, um, and remember, we are flooding Europe, like I said, with Firefly next year. This is when we go from the toddler to teenager by the end of next year. Yes. <laughs> I am excited because I know how much money I'm getting ready to make with this company. See? In the past, I would panic and sell because of these animals that are telling us to. Now, next year, they're going to get squeezed and they're going to lose. Those shorts are going to lose a lot of money. They are in panic mode. That's why you see they keep coming and putting comments telling us every reason why you should not buy Neo or you should sell and take a loss. 
all the while releasing updated models in the month of February. Remember that as well, guys? Will King William Lee said it. He said, traditional, these gas-powered cars, these companies, they put out a new model every year. We're doing the same thing. Updated new models. We, and this is going to be in February, we unveiled the most advanced EV in the world this year to bring not not only to not only compete against the high-end premium market but to decimate it to bring brand recognition and to prove that we are the best of the best of the best that's right the ev that we just unveiled makes a rolls royce look like dog poop in a swimming pool unwanted we continue to sign partnerships and more ev companies lined up to bend the knee to king william lee spin-offs are coming <laughs> oh, you guys forgot about that, didn't you? Spin-offs are coming. The phone spin-off, the chip spin-off, the energy segment spin-offs, which will give us more shares in those companies. Yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> Fourth generation swap stations getting ready for robo-taxis. Getting closer and closer and closer. For And full autonomous driving. You see that sexy guy, Benjamin Franklin, that I love, that I have no choice but to share him with you guys? We're going to get a lot of him. A lot of him coming our way. We know this because NOP Plus coverage, more than any other EV company in China, where we charting and mapping the roads. When we... <laughs> oh my God. Guys, imagine when we release the sub-brand and those brands are going to be selling in high demand in a massive way, massive amounts. And that too will be collecting data for us on all the roads in China. Who do you think is going to have robotaxi and full driverless technology first? That's right, us. That's who. Possible Middle East expansion, not just into Europe next year. Also, I wanted to say to you guys, I want to urge you guys to watch a recent interview in, with Tucker Carlson on Rumble with the Wolf of Wall Street. The guy's name is Jordan Belfort, the real Wolf of Wall Street, where he was talking about basically the way the game is played, exactly what I'm just telling to you guys, but he goes into more detail about the game that the establishment plays, about Nancy Pelosi. He actually talks about how corrupt they are and using inside information, etc, etc. So I urge you guys to watch this on Rumble. I also started back my channel on Rumble for those of you guys who want to follow me there as well. It's Don Dada, D-O-N-D-A-D-A, -D -A, the number four and the letter U. So I hope, and, and seriously guys, I want you guys to watch that um, Tucker Carlson interview with the guy, his name is Jordan Belfort, the Wolf of Wall Street. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys found this video inspirational, informational, and get you guys ready and prepared for the new year to remind you of all what we have done. And I still only scratch the surface on what we've done thus far and to where we're going next year and the years beyond so that you don't panic and sell too early and miss out and sell in the $20, $30 range. And this thing, when it hits the 60, 70, 100, 150, 200, $300 range, you guys are like, oh my God, like most of the people who did so with Apple, Amazon, uh, Baidu, and you know, the list goes on and on, right? Bitcoin, etc., etc. So like I said, if you use the Warren, the, the Warren Buffett Oracle of Omaha matrix and say to yourself, is this company still growing? Are we still going into other countries? Are we still innovating? Are we still coming out with cutting edge technology? Then don't sell yet, guys. You might want to take some profits, but keep holding the majority to make the big money. Benjamin Franklin is coming our way. Next year, the shorts are going to get punished in a massive way. I know that for sure. That's why they're panicking and spreading fear on each and every NEO station. If you guys found this video informational and inspirational, guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. 
if you haven't yet subscribed and remember to share this on your social media guys let's bring more awareness to my channel and neo if you haven't yet subscribed you might want to think about doing so because in this channel we have that warrior mindset where we get rich like 50 said we get rich or we die trying guys